If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? CLICKWID here back again with another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. Guys, today... There are new packs in the game, new sets in the game as well. Rookie of the Year packs are in the game. There are also new movers cards, but the Rookie of the Year packs and the Rookie of the Year cards are really what we're looking at today because, guys, there's an Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, that you can get by doing the set, and that thing's going for like a million or more coins. I just want to quickly take a look at this card, guys, because I'm telling you, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Go on to the auction house real quickly here. We'll go down to the program and find it. Uh, you can start to see some of the collectibles there on the right-hand side of the screen there. Um, but guys, take a look at these things. So one thing that I think is kind of interesting here, you're going to start to see that there are individual collectibles for each of these cards, which is kind of cool. And then you've also got the actual card itself. So in this case, there's an Eddie Lacy going for 30,000 coins. I don't know exactly what the price is on uh, on all of these. But like if we go over here and we'll uh, we'll change it to players, uh, we'll find the players real quickly. Uh, but there are a ton of really, really nice players right now. Uh, there's the Odell Beckham Jr., 940,000 coins right now. Uh, very, very nice cards, guys. And you see here, we've got a whole bunch of 99 overalls as well. Julius Peppers, Peter Bulware, Odell Beckham Jr., like I said, and Domicong Sue. I mean, like, these things are nasty. Big Ben has a card. I mean, like, there's a whole bunch of them. Eddie Lacy, Gerard Mayo, Matt Ryan, Sheldon Richardson. Uh, I mean, Guys, these are some really, really nice cards for this point in the game. I'm actually kind of excited because I think that this is probably the first time that we've seen a unique promo in quite some time here on Mutt in terms of them having those individual collectibles. Now, I don't know if it's going to be worth it to do the sets. Uh, I mean, if you look at it, like the, the actual cards look like they're pretty expensive. Just the standard like 80 overalls. So I'm not exactly for certain if this thing's going to be worth it. But um, we're going to go ahead here, guys, and we're going to open up some pro packs today and then we're going to open up three of the all rookie packs because they're new to the game and you know what we got to try and open them man why not these things are going for 80,000 coins or 800 madden points if you've got those uh they contain two rookie of the year items as well as six gold or better player items and four team items so uh it's basically you know like opening up six gold or uh, six pro packs and then also you get the two rookie of the year items so you could potentially pull some of those players that are going for some decent choice uh, chunks of change so uh with that said guys let's start it off here why don't we start off with a rookie of the year pack we'll start off with something strong and then we'll end it with two more rookie of the year packs so uh this is going to be a pretty expensive pack opening video but that's all right Eighty thousand coins right off the bat let's get something good come on let's do this we get a brian hartline gold okay we have schwartz and we get an interesting a heinz ward collectible in the middle of that pack was not expecting that and we get a there we get our peter bowlware rookie of the year collectible now peter bowlware i think is probably the cheapest of the 99s but still he's in 99 so that's not too bad fred davis uh leon hall and then we get a julius peppers one all right cool all right sorry about that guys i don't know what the hell was going on with the the camera there the um the elgato software but uh, I actually have a new Elgato right here that I'm going to be installing over the next couple of days here. Um, and supposedly that's going to fix any of those like little glitch issues that happen because apparently that's becoming increasingly common for the old HD60 USB one. So uh, not to get too technical with it, but hopefully that'll be fixed here in the next couple of days. I apologize for the little error there on the screen, but we're going to continue to rip open some pro packs, guys, and hopefully we can get some good stuff out of these. Um, obviously, there's a lot of great stuff with the movers items still in the game um, final editions are still in the game as well and we can still of course pull some of those rookie of the year collectibles by the way i actually kind of like the rookie of the year pack art I, I mean i've said this so many times throughout the year but i really think that they did a great job with the pack arts this year and and the card art in general looks really great as well i'm really interested to see what it's going to look like and we get a jake matthew center card here 93 overall campus hero not a bad pull uh, let's take a look at this thing. I want to compare him to, uh, no, never mind. I'm sorry. Jake Matthews left tackle. I don't know why I said center. Actually, yes, I do. Cause it's the C in the bottom right hand corner. Duh. Jake Matthews. Yes. Left tackle. Obviously I knew that, but, um, he's not going to be good enough to start against my left tackle that I currently have, but let's take a look at the attributes here on this thing. 
Um, so currently we're starting Jake Long, and he's actually the same in all of the attributes that I really care about, actually. This is kind of interesting. Other than impact block, he's too lower, but like he's actually quite he's actually quite good. 91 strength, 93 run block, and 96 pass block. Those are the three attributes that I look for in offensive linemen. So, um, and he's got better speed and acceleration too. Kind of interesting. Might have to take a closer look at this and see if maybe we want to sell him, but uh, or keep him and, and sell uh, Jake Long. But that's a that's a nice pull though. At least we got an elite. I don't think it's worth a whole lot right now, but hey, man. At this point in Madden, if you're getting offensive linemen that are cheap and they're good, um, I, I mean, I personally like it. I definitely like that. And for salary cap, I would certainly use that card over the, the Jake Long. So, you know, what are you going to do? That's, I mean, that's really not a bad pull. I'm actually okay with that. So we'll continue here and open up some more pro packs. <clears throat> Guys, have you pulled any of the really great movers cards or anything this year? Like, I just have not had great luck doing that this year. I don't know what the deal is, but... I haven't really pulled any of the great promo stuff. It's been a long, long time since I have, honestly, like weeks and weeks and weeks since I pulled any of the really great promo stuff. So I don't know why that is, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not too upset about it at this point. I've still got 4 million coins, and I know a lot of you guys keep asking, when am I going to spend all these coins? I promise you, we're going to be spending all of these coins. Trust me. Trust me, we're going to be spending all these coins, man. There's no question about that. So uh, don't worry about that. Whether it's giveaways, whether it's pink slips, whether it's pack opening videos or uh, little, you know, gimmicky pack openings with other people, we're going to be spending all these coins. I'm going to be broke by the end of this. My team's going to be gone. I'm going to give away my whole team like I do every year on Mutt. And we get an Alex Boone right guard. I think, is this a newer movers card? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I'm trying to remember, but 97 strength, 97 pass block, and 90 run block. That is pretty beastly. That is pretty beastly. Let's take a look at this thing and see if he's good enough to start for me. So currently, I've got Ali Marpet starting for me, and he's got way better run block, but his pass block is awful. So, and the, oh my gosh, Alex Putin's strength is so much higher. Acceleration and speed are not in the favor of Alex Boone, but damn, man, that is a pretty nasty card. I think we might have to start this thing. I like it. We're getting good offensive linemen, if nothing else. I mean, that's that's actually not, not bad at all. I will definitely take that. That is actually a nice pull out of a pro pack, man. I'm, I'm having more luck in these pro packs than I have in months. And I, I've opened up, like, what, five of them at this point? That is crazy. Definitely like that. I definitely like seeing red paint in the pro packs, man. It's something that I've been complaining about all year. I mean, geez, so many of these packs just contain golds and garbage, you know? Like, the whole pack's worth, like, maybe 2,000 coins. Like, the majority of packs are that way. And, you, like, you can't even pull a freaking base elite. So, uh, it's nice to see some of the movers cards coming out and uh, some of the campus hero cards. I forgot that those were still in packs. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of really good stuff that you can pull out of packs right now. So, that's definitely good. So, we're going to do, I think, two more pro packs. And then we'll wrap it up here with the all or the uh, rookie of the year packs. I want to say all rookie for some reason. But, yeah, rookie of the year packs. I, I really like these packs, by the way, with the, um, the different years with uh, rookies that were really beastly in the year, you know, that they came out. I love that there's legends in this. I mean, that's that's something you don't see every day. So definitely pretty cool to have, like, a Julius Peppers uh, Rookie of the Year card. I wonder if he's still going to get, like, an Ultimate Legend or anything like that. And we get a Kevin White. By the way, this card is money for, like, salary cap and stuff. Yeah, or if you're doing draft champions, use this card. He's six foot three and he's got crazy speed too. 97 speed. Um, yeah, and like I said, six foot three, nice catch in traffic. Pretty good spectacular catch for you know considering that he's a cheap gold card. Um, so that's kind of a, a quick budget beast for you. All right, we'll do one more pro pack and then we'll do the rookie of the year packs, guys. Um, I, like I said, I haven't had great luck out of a lot of these packs yet, but. Um, you know, what's nice about the Rookie of the Year packs is that we're going to be able to sell all the collectibles that we get, if nothing else, if we don't decide to do one of the sets. So, all right, here we go, guys. Rookie of the Year packs. Um, oh, and actually, real quickly, I just want to show you guys the sets because I know this is uh, something that a lot of people ask about. Like, what do you have to do with these sets? So, I'm just going to quick hop in here. We won't spend a lot of time on it. 
um, but here they are the rookie of the year set so basically what's gonna happen is that you can do a collectible trade-in uh, and I think this will give you uh, yeah it gives you uh, any random uh, you can put any two random rookie of the year collectibles in there it's kind of like the the trade back thing um, and then obviously here the different players as they get better they have you know more collectibles that you need like Odell Beckham jr. needs 31 he's a 99 overall so is Big Ben uh, whereas Matt Ryan's like a yeah he's a 96 overall so he only needs 21 collectibles but these are actually individual uh, co collectibles for the player so you need 20 of his uh, his specific collectible and then you need the actual player card so uh, that makes it you know it, it, these things do get a little bit expensive but actually the collectibles aren't too bad so um, you know you can definitely do it I, I would say that these sets are definitely doable so maybe we'll end up trying out like the Odell Beckham jr. or something like that I don't know if we'll actually it'll actually be profitable to do him but um you know like i said maybe we'll try them out we'll see what happens but uh anyways guys we'll get back in here and we will open up these rookie of the year packs so we've got what well, we can do five of them i think let me uh let me double check yeah it says four more so i can certainly i you know what we're just gonna open up all of them why the hell not why the hell not let's do it let's be great man let's be great five rookie of the year packs why the hell not? And we get a Bobby Massey, another offensive lineman. That's pretty good. Another movers offensive lineman. Let's compare him real quick to my starter like we do. Um, let's see here. There you compare. All right. Who do I have at starting at? I have Chris Clark. This is definitely a better card than Chris Clark. Well, Chris Clark's pass block is pretty damn good, though. Uh, and the strength is pretty close. So this is actually closer than I thought it would be. Hmm. They're pretty much even, to be honest with you, but Bobby Massey has way better impact block and speed and acceleration. So we're going to go ahead and put him as our starter. So we've gained ourselves a few different offensive linemen that go into the starting lineup. So that's actually pretty nice. I'm, I'm definitely okay with that. And we get in Ndamukong Su. Like I said, he is a 99 overall. So I think that's a good one. Gerard Mayo is one of the lower overall ones. We get a Harrison Smith base elite. Uh, I don't think that's going for much, but hey, man, definitely okay with pulling elites at this point. So, all right, cool. We got some good stuff out of that pack. I like it. I like it. So, we'll continue on here. We've got, what, three more of these all-rookie packs. They're 80,000 coins, guys. So, pretty expensive. But, uh, I mean, hey, if you, you can pull good stuff out of them, why, why not? Why not? Tim Wright. Okay, come on. Drive Powers. Matt Ryan collectible. I think that's one of the crappy ones again. Gerard Mayo, again, another crappy one. Danny Trevathan and Mike Adams. So this is not a good pack, but again, I can always take these gold players and at least put them toward another large quick sell. And we're starting to accumulate more of those. So we'll be doing another large quick sell war with somebody here on the channel over the next couple of days or maybe the next week or so. So be on the lookout for that. And we get a Preston Smith as our first card here, all rookie. Um, not a bad pull there. I don't think it's going for a whole lot, but hey. Gerard May. Okay, so this is a good one because the player ones actually go for quite a bit more. So this is definitely a good one to pull. Even though it's Gerard Mayo and it probably doesn't go for a whole lot, it's definitely worth more than the other things. So Casey Hayward, another movers card. Dude, we're actually pulling some nice stuff out of these. Lots of movers pulls. Um, you know, we haven't gotten any like crazy, crazy stuff yet, but definitely pulling some decent stuff. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Why? I'm kind of surprised, to be honest with you. And you get a Big Ben collectible as well. So that's nice. And a Peter Bulware. So both of those are 99 overall. So we actually got three collectibles out of this pack. Not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. Big Ben, Peter Bulware, and then the card for Gerard Mayo. So not bad. That's that's a pretty good pack as well. And we also got the Movers card as well. So definitely a good one. We're on to our final All-Rookie of the Year pack, guys. All-Rookie of the Year, of course. I'm, I'm going to just say that. Until, I'm just going to say All-Rookie until you know it goes away. Because that's just in my mind for some reason. I don't know why. Ben Roethlisberger again there, collectible, and we get, oh, damn, when I saw red, TJ Ward's like one of the worst elites that you can pull, but that's all right. Peter Bulwer, so we got the same collectibles as last pack, and a Marcus Gilbert to wrap things up, so... Guys, that is going to do it for this pack opening video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And tell me, guys, what do you want to see on the channel? Should we do uh, a, uh, some gameplay with the Odell Beckham Jr.? Or should we get a different card? What are you guys interested in seeing? Let me know in the comments section below. And also let me know what you pull in your all-rookie packs. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys again soon.